We invite you to join our conversation with your thoughts and comments. BNFT says, dispute over gross international reserves. IMF says 5.1 billion. Variance is 2.8 billion US dollars. The Bank of Ghana is also quoting 7.9 billion. Uh, well, so... Ghana Beyond Aid. Businesses must support agenda to make it attainable. IMF disputes Bank of Ghana's international reserves figure of 8 billion US dollars. Apprenticeships are now compulsory as Tivet drafts new policy for implementation. The Ghanaian Times. GES PTA tango over Achimota uh, Preparatory School. Let's commit to... African Free Trade Agreement for benefit of the continent. And Sami Jemfi arrested, released on bail. 19 teachers granted bail for offensive conduct. The Daily Guide. NDC plots against EC on farm. Uh, Nana mourns Akwesi Ajiman, his uh, brother. And new, new plan closure sparks debate. Police arrest Sami Jemfi for cybercrime. Ofosu Ampofo trial begins tomorrow. The Finder newspaper, Zipline delivers 20,000 items, 833 patients in emergency situations saved. Chief Imam spokesperson backs EC on new voters register. GRA ignores lawsuit, allow Unipass to install equipment and no mass protection of sitting MPs in Ashanti according to John Buedu. My guest this morning, the Honourable Member of Parliament for the Lejokuku constituency in the Greater Accra region, uh, Dr. Bernard Okoboy, and also lawyer Eduji Tamaklo, is a member of the NDC's legal and communications team. Gentlemen, welcome. Good morning. How are we morning. doing? Good morning. Yesterday, when they wanted to beat me, I couldn't find any of my friends. <laughs> 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 but how are we doing, Doc? How are you? Yeah, well, it's good. I'm cool. You're yeah, fine. Did you find it? Uh, by God's grace. Um, you know now, uh, I keep saying that there are a few things that sometimes we underestimate. Mm. The fact that you're able to leave the house, mm. get to work, come back. We're unable to appreciate the immeasurable mercies that God has bestowed upon us. Mm. You know, on Sunday, the unfortunate death of uh, Kobe. Mm. Right. Yeah, and when I began to read the stories that morning, he had actually attended mass yeah. Yeah. in his Catholic church right. before boarding the helicopter and the unfortunate incident, mm -hmm. the daughter and some other family members. We sometimes do not appreciate some of these things. Uh, may God always touch our hearts for us to appreciate the immeasurable mercies mm. from the good Lord. Okay, Doc, yeah. initial <coughs> comments? Yeah, mm. let me say that, um, first of all, very good morning to all your viewers. Today is a very good, uh, like the Bible said, this is a day the Lord has made. Um, and finally, mm -hmm. we, we would get to um, let go of all these um, 300 plus ambulances that mm. have been procured by the government today. I am happy. Uh, which which campaign has started here? Yeah, yeah I know. Yeah. I know you've done well. Suddenly, you know, the people have forgotten. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they they came know, attacking. You know, I, I am particularly happy because you appreciate the amount of effort mm. and commitment that makes it possible mm. when you compare mm. to the 30 that we got in about eight years. Mm. Even that was a lot of struggle and had issues. Um, uh, I admit that there was some kind of concern about the, the time. People wish that this had gone some few months ago. But fortunately for me, I happened to visit the ambulances about a week ago. Mm. And there were people in them fixing some of the gadgets they talked about. Okay. Some of these tracking devices mm. and a coordinating system and GPS and all that. So, Johnny, I mean, mm. we the most important thing is that, like I agree with you the last mm. time, we wanted the ambulance to be released as soon as possible. Mm. And like the ambulance service process, I can himself mention, if we had rushed to let it go, okay. some of the things that have to be to put in place, mm. uh, because they are not being put, mm. it was possible that we were going to have an inefficient service. Um, my last uh, sentence mm. is that we should be grateful for the substance, 
which is the delivery mm. of the ambulances. Okay. If there has been hitches or there's been some level of uh, imperfection mm. proud to each delivery, I think we should not focus on the periphery, mm -hmm. but be grateful for the, the availability. And most importantly, we must take good care of them. As a physician, I've seen a lot of ambulances over the past eight mm. years. You see VW ambulances, within like two years, half of them are yeah. parked. There are 100 that are parked now. Yes, I've That's seen all. VW brands, I've seen Renault, mm. I've seen some even some Benz some yeah. years ago. Yeah. So we, 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 we must be careful and uh, 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 take care of ambulance. I'm happy mm. that they said for the first time we've, we've uh, done, we've insured them. Insure them, okay. You know, we have this culture where we think because a government vehicle will not be arrested mm. by the police right, or seized. Right. Most of, some of them, or if not most of them, are not insured. I'm happy we've, we've insured them. If you look at the manner in which ambulances are handled, mm. they're always high-risk vehicles. Right. High-risk as in they can run into mm. emergencies. Mm. Always yeah. at, you yeah. know. So, yeah. so we, 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 we can Speaking of uh, maintenance, one of the uh, key things that were said uh, as to why we couldn't immediately distribute the ambulances like I called for was the fact that we're going to set up, um, you know, uh, mechanical shops for them so that we will be able to maintain them. Do we know if that has been done? Yeah, I think, I think what, what they've done, I mean, I don't have all the details. Okay. But what I picked is that there are two things they are trying to do. You know, they are, they are Mercedes-Benz vehicles. Mm. And we have uh, Mercedes-Benz uh, stations right. across the mm. country. So they are trying to go into some form of um, MOU so that they can handle uh, some of the ambulances, especially when they are Mercedes-Benz specialists. Mm. Because they are ambulances with particular fittings, they intend to do some training, which I think they've done for some of them. But so we, were, we were told that this yeah. will be done by the time the release will No, no, no. I, I think and, and it was the, the, no, the no. reason for the delay. As we speak, we have, we have <clears throat> made that arrangement. Okay. I don't want to say that it's the end. You right. know, most of these things are continuous. Even mm. continuous uh, training and all that. Right. And then the other one is to set up entirely new, like, um, the garages. Okay. For them. At a few, yes, for mm -hmm. them at a few places. So these things will still continue. The phone lines have they, have they been synergized? Yeah, yeah. yeah. They've I mean, been they, synergized. There's a coordination. Okay. Done, you know, I think you know, it was Vodacom. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. But but <laughs> uh, uh, hold on. I, I I want to get because I'm I'm asking the questions Professor Zakaria asked. Mm. Yeah. So I want to get the answers from him. Then you can react. Yeah. So Professor Zakaria also speaks about the fact that we must have the emergency teams at the various hospitals and clinics. I'm happy you are the board chair for Kolebu. Kolebu may not have that challenge, but if we're looking at one constituency, one ambulance, then we must have a replication of these emergency teams at the hospitals ready to receive the patients yeah. as they are brought yeah. in on an emergency basis. Are they also ready? You know, what some people didn't get initially, you know, Johnny, Ghana as a country, mm. we already have the infrastructure for the ambulance system through the establishment of the ambulance service. Okay. What they lack was sufficient vehicles okay and then the the harmon the high harmonized communication tool okay where even if you are a commercial you can know or tell that an ambulance in lechukuku has moved towards that seven okay that's what the they've tried mm. to put the okay. on, yeah but we have an ambulance station in my district already mm. almost every district in this country has the station what they lack was the vehicle okay so what we've done is to go and put the vehicle at the infrastructure that is already established okay it's not like this 300 are now going to form uh, some structure. There's okay. the structure is already So, if I make a call yeah. right now, yes. 192, or I don't know which number has been assigned yes, now, yes, yes. and I'm, I'm looking for an ambulance, yes. Uh, you are saying that there should be one within this enclave that should come to yeah, me. Uh, absolutely. Okay. What they are even doing, is, what they are going to do is that when you call, let's say, Lejukuku, when you call the number and you're in Lejukuku, and Lejukuku's ambulance is engaged, they can, they can uh, uh, construct the one in Crowell. Okay. Yes. That's why. They wanted to label the ambulances. Okay. They said the fact that it's a constituency ambulance does not mean it to be restricted to that constituency. Okay. If there's a mass casualty, mm. they can rope in four or five ambulances to the place. Okay. So that that is okay. A, yeah. Edigi, take a bite on this one. Today is the uh, as Doc says, a big day, World Ambulance Day. Uh, you know what do you uh, think? I, I, I think that uh, I never knew that for the first time we may have to be holding national ceremony with pop and pageantry just in order to have ambulance distributed. Mm. 
I'm not sure from Nkrumah's time to date, this is the first time that we are having to procure ambulances for use by our hospitals. My brother here, he is even a medical doctor. Mm. The places that he has served, I'm sure that he's had the benefit of ambulances mm. in those hospitals and health facilities. So definitely, this is not something novel that one can say for the first time in the history of this country, mm. we are have to, having to deploy ambulances. I think that we need to be honest to the conversation. Mm. I mean, the MPP campaign promise in 2016 was to readily make available mm -hmm. one million to each constituency. My brother here, who is the MP for Lejikuku, mm -hmm. I'm sure the people of Lejikuku watching all of us will mm -hmm. be asking him this mm -hmm. morning mm -hmm. that 2017, where is the one million? 2018, where is the one million? Mm -hmm. 2019, where is the one million? 2020, where is the one million? We are getting ambulances. Now, what we are being told mm -hmm. is that government has decided to procure ambulances from the office of the vice president. Mm -hmm. Remember that they handle the procurement processes right. because at that time, the Ministry of Special Initiative had not been put into place yet. So mm -hmm. the vice president office proceeded in mm -hmm. doing most of these procurements. It's important in all of this conversation is that we have not asked the critical question. Mm -hmm. The nature of the value for money mm -hmm. was this done in the procurement of these ambulances? So that consistent with our president's view during his inauguration, mm -hmm. that I shall protect the public purse by mm -hmm. insisting on value for money. Okay. We need to find out mm -hmm. in procuring these Mercedes Benz, you know, buses, mm -hmm. whether we're able to carry out those critical issues of value for money. Mm -hmm. First of all, was the procurement process done competitively? Okay. Was it so sourced? Mm. If it was so sourced, we need to know so that we can say that the use of public funds mm. was used in the manner that ensures the protection of public funds. Okay. This information is critical. I have always maintained that the, 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 the bigger issue which relates to the culture of maintenance right. requires a broader conversation on this table. It we're, we're not, promise that yes, it, exactly. will, it will it's happen, that we'll set up garages for Look, them. I recall Metro Mass right. when it started, even before OSA, OSA you remember? Yes, OSA. Mm. By the time we were done, OSA buses were down. STC, Vanef, you mm. remember I those remember days? that. Where are those buses? Our own Metro Mass buses, where are they? President Kufo bought Tundra for the police. Where are they? <clears throat> So there is a systemic problem which relates to the culture of maintenance. The best we can do, I mean, there is a facility I always use. It's a public facility. I just don't want to mm. use I mean, the facility is not so old, but already mm -hmm. chairs and others are <laughs> already flying <laughs> all over the place. It's, it's a cultural thing mm. that we need to work at it. We need to resolve it so that going forward, we ice. I have maintained this position. Why? Under the NDC, we, we bought close to 161 of these ambulances. Today, when you go, we are left with only 55 or so. Less than that. Exactly, which is functioning. Because then head of ambulance used to be a friend. Mm -hmm. you know, so I could go and have conversation about that, some of these 51. issues. Today, we are dealing with less than 55. 51. So we are dealing with 51. So definitely... This is the issue. At the end of the day, in five years' time, in three years' time, can we have this conversation and be clear in our mind? You see? So, so the Minister for Health, as I remember, mm. said that when I asked him on the 7th of uh, November last mm. year, he said that we are, we are setting up, uh, what do you call it, uh, garages to be able to specifically take care of these look, ambulances. Look, let me tell you. And we're going to do it in zone. So, northern zone, southern zone, middle you, belt, you and see, all of that. I mean, you don't, I, I you have, don't trust have, that that's going to happen. I've always said, listen, there's nothing wrong expressing fantastic ideas. It is the implementation. It's the groundwork that ultimately decides. I am not sure that there was any time in the history of this country that we said we're going to buy buses or buy ambulances, that for a minute we thought in the next two years those things will be destroyed by us. Mm. 
And you see, for ambulances, because of the speed at which those drivers, mm -hmm. they are always prone to issues. And so if you even have agreement by way mm -hmm. of warranty, spare parts and other, the speed at which the person will be changing can even compromise the nature of those warranties. Right. Because if I'm providing you spare parts, today you come, tomorrow you are coming, another, at the same cost, mm -hmm. will raise fundamental issues. Right. Those people are also profit-making entities. They are not Father Christmas. Mm. So there are critical matters that we need to look at it. And I've always maintained that, listen, when you, on the campaign promise, promise the people of Lejukuku, and I recall, Nanado and my brother here, I will give you one million. And the vice president says, listen, the money used in Accra, quote unquote, in Addisada mm. <coughs> College, used to get stolen from Accra. Right. And that is why government thinks that they will bring the money right to the doorstep of the people. Okay. So the people of Lejukuku in 2016 were expecting one million. Okay. Doc, in, did you get did in, you get your money? In 2017, I'm coming, I'm coming, you know. <laughs> oh, you, have made, you have made the point. No, in 2018, they were expecting one million. Okay. 20 this thing, one million. Only for now, honorable to say that no, the actual campaign promise is that. We'll, we'll, get, we'll, we'll yeah. get you a KVIP post election, having gotten the power. Okay. And, and, uh, allow, allow him to answer. Order. And now, allow it is really answer. not one million mm. directly to you. It is one million of projects that we will do here in the Flagstaff House. Mm. So we'll come and give you water closet. We'll give you borehole. Mm. We'll give you this. What, what's the, your problem with that? What's the, your problem if, with that? If the electric what, what, had what's, the your benefit, pro, what's your problem with if that? If the electric had had a... No, because that was not a campaign promise. And I heard Dr. Baumia very clearly... If, if, if you live in a house with your father, mm. your father takes his salary and that's a budget and decides that, oh, for my son, Eduji, this term, I'm going to spend 4,000 CDs on him. Mm. Does he give you the 4,000 CDs as his son to no, spend, even, even, or does even, he buy you this, this, oh, one suit, no, one not shirt, this, one kambu? Not this <coughs> Nanado father. Okay. Who will definitely tell you, I'll give you one million because the status quo okay. in the past. Mm. Why? In the past, money that were given to assemblies and everybody is for projects. But mm. the man says that in Accra, those monies get stolen. And so they will bring the money more directly to the constituency mm. because that is the nucleus. They have their unique needs. They have this. Mm. But in this case, the ambulances, the KVIPs mm. and um, boreholes were decided at the office of the president that that is what the people of Lejukuku need. Okay. Let's let him come in. Uh, Honorable, uh, 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 do, do you have, did you get the money? Yeah, well, one, one million. One. 2017, 2018, 2019. Johnny. No, answer my question. <laughs> oh, oh, <I'm> <laughs> See, my brother asked, talked about value for money, mm. which is very legitimate. Okay. I am About the procurement for, issues, yes, right? I am always for value for money. Mm. And um, I think the contracts are supposed to be public documents. Okay. And we thank God that RTI is also here, so he can get all these things. It, I'm, yeah, not, I'm not too sure yeah, about RTI because we did a story, as I'm sure you're aware. We went to the Ministry of Trade, we went to the Ministry of Finance. Like there, help there was no. Hold on for me. me hold on for me, please. I, I you, help you, you, no, no, don't help me. I I'm telling. You. I'm supplying information. Yeah. We went to the Ministry of Information first. Yes, yes. We went to the Ministry of Trade, yeah. and then we sent someone to go as a public citizen from yeah. our newsroom to go to the Finance Ministry as a public citizen. We didn't find in the RTI. They're supposed to have a desk. No problem. No problem. We didn't find that no the information let, officer, let and and also, surprisingly, at the Ministry of. Inf uh, Finance I mean, I and trade. You, I, I they told us point. that they they, they are not, they are not really you know, up to I scratch with point. it. Let's grant it. So we can't count on RTI. No, you at let's this point. grant that it's not operational. Let's grant that. I'm granting that. No, it was on TV. Oh, so my point is that mm. I'm not going to dispute you because okay. I don't have control right. evidence. Mm. But this is the point I'm making. Make there is point. public evidence and ruling the courts okay. to show that when you want access to a public document. If you want it, they cannot deny you. Right. We have a ruling. Right. So that is a precedent. But where there's no oh, desk to okay. grant you that information, how do you activate I'm your right under the law? Your point that you made, I'm not fighting you. Okay. I'm saying that the bottom line is that there so are that roots. The yes, there are roots to access this document. Okay. So I grant it. Okay. But I am only hoping that this same zeal and enthusiasm mm. will be transferred to other deals on 
ambulances okay. that we tried to procure, okay. a 2.4 million ambulance deal, that went very bad. Okay. That ended in uh, losses. That even our ambulance services were not fit for use. The empty I ambulance. mean, we should okay. apply to all. Yeah. Now, you know what? Let me quickly say that the ambulance strength, mm. the total we had, like you said, was around 50. Right. Let me go with this figure that they got about 140 to 150 ambulances over their period. Mm. Now, unfortunately, unfortunately, usually when you are comparing uh, rivals or people who, mm. who are competing to govern the, the country, you have mm. to look at their records. About 140, 150 in eight years. Mm. Johnny, in less than, within three years, mm. we've done twice, which is 300. And I listened to Professor Zakaria. He said something very significant, that this purchase of 300 ambulances has made Ghana's fleet the biggest in West Africa. Mm. And that a lot of their colleagues call them and say that, look, we are pushing our governments to take a cue from what Ghana has done. And so, yeah, like I said, the installation of the gadgets and all that, people wish the timelines had been earlier. But we should remember that to have a fleet of 50 and have a government, I divided 300 by 50, six times the capacity in mm. three years is significant. And it is my hope that we keep these figures within the next four or five years. And that's why we learned from the lessons <laughs> of the past. That don't rush into giving it to the driver. Okay. Make sure that you have your insurance in place, mm. you have your gadgets in place. You, look, I've seen ambulances. When I, I worked in a particular hospital in the East region, it was the ambulance that they used to cut, uh, uh, how do you call it, goods for the canteen and yeah, all that. They are kidding me. It happens. You know, so abuse. <laughs> that's why this time, the tracking is important. They use it to cut what? Good, like let's say you need to get gauze materials. For, yes, because of maybe shortage of uh, how do you call it um, 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 vehicles. Right. They will go like oh, use the ambulance to go and bring us. This. And guess what? Ambulance to usually is able to is giving the uh, uh, was clearance uh, yeah. to move to fast. Go up and down, yeah. Exactly. So if they need any item quickly, sometimes the ambulance is. And the tracking will help to stop this abuse. Okay. Because immediately you, you, you see the ambulance on the signal that is mm -hmm. moving. You will call and find out which patient is in okay. and where it's going to. Okay. And these are lessons that we have to take seriously. Mm. Uh, particularly in a country that has a high turnover for ambulances. Mm. Our turnover is close to 80%. What, what, do, you, what do you say to those who um, say that, look, the World Health Organization says one lakh of people to one ambulance, like 10,000 to one. Yes. By this 307, it means that we still have a, a lot to achieve. Yeah. What do you say to the people that, look, until we get to that point where we yeah. can say we have one ambulance yeah. to one lakh, we shouldn't have been making such noises about yeah, the ambulance. You know, what do you say to them? You know, what is interesting is that, yes, that's the name, right? The vehicle right, that right. cuts uh, mm. uh, dead bodies. bodies, yeah. You know, it's usually not in shortage mm. because it's been the what's the word is liberalized okay. its operations mm. we cannot forever apply the same old model okay. i believe that we should not only we should not restrict ambulance service to only government okay what we can do i have i've talked to some of the health managers mm. in this country mm -hmm. johnny let's set a very basic standard mm. like, let's say an ambulance you have let's say an oxygen mm. a defibrillator and let's say a, a skilled person mm. let the ambulance service train shs graduates or university graduates mm. It's a two-month course or one-month course mm. in emergency care. So you are doing certificates. Zakaria says it's actually one year. Good. No, no. My, my mm. point is that set the standard so that <clears throat> um, if we wanted to flood the system, mm. what do you do? If you are bringing an ambulance at the ports, let's say it's duty-free, but it should be at least only two years old or three years old, and you should have these three basic things. Okay. Once the vehicle meets them, let it come into the country. Those who work within are certified by ambulances. Okay. The driver is a trained person. You create jobs, you liberalize it so that we are like up uh, Uber or right. Right. Uh, what is the word? Boat. Or, or, boat, all of them. So if I have an emergency at home, quickly I look on my GPS. Five minutes away, there is one. And it's private. Okay. It's better to get on you board say, an, say, an ambulance. Say, okay. It's important that you see I intervene. He's even a medical doctor, right. so this is failed. You would agree with me that a discussion of this nature, mm. we should not even think that having an ambulance is an end in itself. Mm. Yeah. For instance, if the ambulance picks me from this end, it must take me to a hospital. Yes. Right. So once I get to, say, Kolebu, where he's the board chair, mm. and I have to go and now look for bed, mm. between 
him. He will say no. Relative to that, we need more beds. Right. No, that's true. And, okay. and that's why I asked so whether the emergency, so no, so emergency that, so infrastructure that is complete. So that when the ambulance get to the hospital, I can easily be moved and get a hospital. I mean, I've had instances where colleagues will call me from Volta. Mm. There is an emergency. They are bringing the person to Accra. Do I know a doctor in Kolebu who can arrange for a bed mm. while they bring the mm. person from home? It's because from the scheme of mm. affairs, the hospital becomes the ultimate end user. But, but I asked Dr. Kubo whether the no, no, emergency team no, so were ready at the no, hospital. So so says, you see, yes. when my brother here spoke, he created the impression Dr. Zakaria says is the highest this within West Africa and what mm. have you. I think that the conversation ought to be a bit broader. Why? Under John Mahama, mm. we spent over two billion putting up hospitals and others in very remote areas. Mm. The end game was to increase hospital beds by almost 6,000. Mm -hmm. Why? Some of the hospitals, when Anado Danko Kufado came, his priority was to look for ambulances. Mm. Uh, hold on, floor. please, please. Allow him. Allow him. No, I was allow him. Allow him. Allow him. Allow him. No, he's no, got no, 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 no. I mean, today, I decided I, I to see... No, I'll give you time. I'll give you time. I'll give you time. If, if we can't I'll give you time. Guy, let's, you let's, talk, let's talk <laughs> ambulance today. <laughs> you know, so the ultimate thing is that I have made the point. Look, if today there is an ambulance that comes to the University of Ghana, and it bypasses the over 600 hospital bed mm. at the University of Ghana, looking for a hospital to put that patient. It tells you possibly the priority of the government. That this is a government that believes in investing in ambulances rather than completing health facilities like the University of Ghana one. But, 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 hold on. But it, it, Deploy, it, hold on. Deploy it fully mm. so that it will become beneficial to all of it us. Was he, they, Look, they, Professor, Zakaria, know, Professor Zakaria raised that point mm. in his letter he wrote to put the plugs on the seat of general distribution. I have just asked Dr. Okoboy whether the emergency teams no, are so ready you, let, at the let hospitals me, let me even deal, to, we'll, we'll, uh, to absorb no, we'll them. We'll and he says Look, they are Letma, there. Letma. Do, you, do you have doubts no, about that? Letma, which is directly in his constituency, mm. I think that if by his own means, if he had the means, he would want to increase the number of beds in Lekma, simply because his population keeps increasing every day. Look, you are, you are nodding. It means that your first answer to me no, was not... I, I, no, hold on. You, you, you will have the benefit of responding. But you see, if you ask him, he will tell you that even in Lekma, there are lands there, they are having problems with encroachment for the future. And so with the benefit of funds, he would even want to have another 120 bed situated just by Lekma mm. to serve the greater population of the good people of Tishi, mm. which inures to his benefit. You understand? But if government's priority mm. is that buying ambulance in and of itself mm. resolves the critical challenges within the health sector, then we'll have a mediocre performance. Where would invite chiefs, people, and do pop and pageantry to celebrate. Okay, allow him to wrap up. Allow him to wrap up. No, no, no. After this show, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. After this show, he should call his colleague MP mm. for Formina, the Honorable Member of Parliament for Formina, and he will tell you that in the past three years, that hospital project has stalled. Okay. A hospital Thank you. project that Thank was you. almost 85 percent. Doc, step in for me. Wrap mm -hmm. up your mm -hmm. point. Mm -hmm. Thank mm -hmm. you for your mm -hmm. intervention. Don't wrap First up for me. First of all, the, mm -hmm. the addition of more beds to the health, uh, mm -hmm. our total beds, is a positive one. I mean, I mean, they well, added But I asked you that question no, earlier. No, no. You, you said, because uh, I asked if the emergency team, as Dr. Zakaria said, were ready at the hospitals to receive oh, uh, the John, patient. Yeah, and you said, yeah, yeah. but Johnny, then when you raised that, you Johnny, were not this morning, if you go to the emergency, colleague who is ready to receive emergencies. Do we so have that, the beds? Uh, the so it's not the same. When you ask me whether we are ready, it's not the same as our beds sufficient. You should get what. But, but if you if you receive me at the emergency, doc, yes. Where, where are you going to put me? Uh, when I say we are ready, it means you'll be put on a bed and treated. If you okay. go to the emergency, okay. that's the point I made. So the beds are there. Of course. Oh, okay. But you see, running a hospital is like a factory. Okay. There's a first point. Materials move like in a factory, from one belt to another station mm. until the final product what comes out. Do you know that if the warehouse where materials are kept mm. for distribution, okay. if for any reason they don't, the materials don't move, mm. even when your machines are ready to produce new items, 
the factory will come to a halt. Right. That's how a hospital runs. Mm -hmm. So before I went to Kolebu, and it's like, it's, it's, there's a similar thing in other hospitals. Mm -hmm. If you don't do bed management efficient, when I say bed management, you have a patient who is rushed in, okay. the patient is now stabilized. The patient must move from the emergency to the ward. Right. If for any reason that patient stays on the bed at the emergency, when your relative is brought in, they will say there's no bed. But if there were proper bed management, that patient should have moved I on. I understand people lobby to keep their people at the emergency. <laughs> so so <laughs> this is easy to enter. You know, so I'm talking about efficient management <laughs> of beds. Mm. So it's a, com it's, a, it's a whole system right. that you look at at different stages. Look, calling the emergency when, let's say when you call an ambulance, mm. there's already the infrastructure to reach to the hospital and ask whether there, right. there are beds. Right. We have the infrastructure okay. already. So these things are there. However, as a country and as a health management system, we need to improve on the coordination amongst hospitals. Right. So, what so happens? That you do, right. it's like crop subsidy. Yes. Yes. Exactly. But, but, but if you don't have it, I'll give but, you. But, exactly. but, exactly. but Professor Zakaria in his letter said that that coordination was going to be done, which is why I asked if the no, synergized no, system. No, it's is coordination important. more or less already the ambulance system. They have a, like I said, they have a communication a command system. center. What they wanted is coordination, even amongst, so like on a graph, you can see all the ambulances okay. when they move. Okay. So if it there is an emergency in Lejokuku okay. from their system, if the Lejokuku's ambulance has moved already, they will not even call their station. Okay. So they will not even call the next so, one. See, see a classic yes. case in which I want to make is that where I stay, mm. Dome Kwabenya constraint. Today, if you give the good people of Dome Kwabenya ambulance, you give Madina one ambulance, mm. Adenta one. These are the adjoining constituencies. Yeah. Mm. John Muhammad today, with his benefit and visionary leadership, there is a hospital just by Atomic Hospital. And so, if you uh, give them, Jenny, if you give them, hold on, hold on. Oh, no, no, hold on. <laughs> they said to me to talk about GM. So. <laughs> no, hold on. If, if you give them one ambulance, mm. and then there is a health issue, they can easily pick the person and take him there. Right. You understand? That's what we okay. need to do. No, no, but your, so your, your point is well yeah, that one's point point is But you see, I think it's also important okay. to admit that mm. most of the infrastructure that was started their time in terms of the health institutions are being worked on now. We've completed about uh, five polyclinics, okay. Shai or Sudoku, mm. all were started their time. Right. So it's not like we've abandoned, we've abandoned their projects. them. You're working on them. Exactly. But and did then, you get your one million, one constituent? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 At this point, he needs a lawyer. He needs a lawyer. He doesn't need a lawyer. He's a doctor. Very incriminating. What is fact and absolutely true about his statement is that we did not directly get the full compliment to us to decide. Okay. Some are decided like this ambulance at the top. That's his argument. Some at our local level. So there were a few drains that it took my office to make an input. That is what will help the community. Okay. So I think the motive behind this one million is that the projects are lo determined locally. Okay. But what I suspect is that when government feels that this is an overarching need, mm. sometimes they go like across board. Okay. Some should come from your facility. But guess what? So did you get your money? No, 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 I, bottom line. Well, yeah, I got, no, I, I got a project. 2018, 2019. Then I got projects. Valued, <laughs> valued at $1 million. Oh, yeah, somewhere near. If you take out the ambulance, it will not be $1 million. But Johnny, no, guess no, what? He Johnny, Johnny, who had worked oh, in the rural area. Johnny, no, you tell me that one of the things they did Johnny, was that when they came to uh, power, they abandoned on your Johnny, on a lighter note, it's better. Johnny, on a lighter note, you are better off if you're $1 million gets you an ambulance than if it plants trees in the dry season. I see. I see the only other, uh, one of the vans parked around Kolebu, the, the second gate. I mean, you know, they decided uh, to have Chris, sir, welcome. What, what, are the, what are the masses saying? I mean, it's not it's good so enough, good. though. Yeah, did you let's listen to you. Uh, <laughs> well. so good morning, TV3. The president said that the reason why he didn't distribute the ambulances is because he didn't want Ghanaians to accuse him of discrimination. Now, we are told that about 150 ambulances are going to be commissioned and distributed, which defeats his earlier explanation. Mm. Mutala in, uh, Asukari says, Good morning to all of you on, in the studio. In fact, commissioning and distributing uh, distribution of the ambulances is not necessary because it is the duty of every government to provide uh, ambulances. Good morning, Johnny. Ask Dr. Alko whether the things that Prof. Uh, Zakaria asked to be provided in the ambulances are ready. That's from Francis and Brigade Kaswa. Good morning, Johnny, and your panel. If it takes Ghana over three months to install devices in the ambulances, when Ghanaians are losing their lives as a result, 
It takes a serious country not more than a week to put up a thousand capacity fa facility to respond to emergency disease outbreak. Hmm. Ghana hmm. has a long way to go. How can distribution of medical ambulances uh, to hospitals take a ceremony? Ambulances are so basic to uh, <laughs> emergency health service delivery to the extent that it does not even have to attract debates on the, uh, in the public domain or the media prior to its distribution. K. J. in Kufuridua says, Good morning, Johnny, once again. The president and the NPP... Good morning, Johnny. Once again, the, the president and the MPP government have done it again. The promise of one constituency, one ambulance is fulfilled. The people of the Upper East region can't wait to receive them. God bless the president and the MPP government for the good works. Hashtag for more uh, to, to do more. Uh, Ibrahim Isaka Akolgo from Sumbrugu near Bogatanga says. And uh, the last one this morning. Johnny, it is better late than never. We are happy the ambulances will be commissioned and distributed today. But it is only under Ekufa Adu that we have to commission ambulances before they are put to use while people are dying. Shame on us. And that's from Komla from Dan Suman. Thank you very much. Doc, somebody raised a question about 150 being distributed today instead of 307. Is there... Is, there, well, I, is that correct? To be honest, I, don't, I assume that we had a full complement, mm -hmm. so I can't really speak. To you know, you this there. morning, I mean, consistent. You, I think, and you see, that is my issue with government miscommunication. I mean, there's nothing wrong. You have received 150. Okay. Proceed and do the distribution. And say, look, other constituencies, you have it. In any case, our president, in deploying other programs, mm -hmm never waited to have the full complement before some are distributed. They are complemented as you move on. Now my issue is this. When you put upset conflicting communication signals, mm. one, it creates issues about trust mm. between those who govern and the citizens. Because you see, you tell us, in the view of the press, that listen, I am unable to do the distribution because I do not want to be accused of discrimination. Mm. Okay. Then it turns out that today, even this ceremony that you're going to undertake, you do not have the 275 three, constituents. Three, three hundred, three hundred uh, no, no, but it, do, you, do, yes. you, do you know this for a fact? Yeah, the, the two seven, they don't. They are all not in full. Where, where did you in source fact, this information? Oh, see, see I'm not, I want to as know. They, I don't no, know. As are the if, as when governments initially wanted to do the that. The 6th of Sorry, January. the 6th. That was when some had even come to the ports. I mean, there are people who work in the ports. Mm -hmm. And they have cleared so, a lot of no, so, I know. Uh, see, that's the point so I'm making. Around, but, you see, that, no, that, but you see, no. Exactly. But you see, when you clear, mm. the way these ambulances are, you need to now further do all this. They thing are not they retrofit. Play. Exactly. So, but, Doc, you yeah. see, Doc they, they, on the, I remember that on the 20th of December, when we went for the meet the press, if, even though I was sitting on the front. I have asked key nobody, government nobody, officials since morning. Can and, you and confirm? Allow, allow oh, me to. So, on the 20th of December, we went for the meet the press with the president. I was sitting on the front line. Nobody called me, by the way. <laughs> All the people were sitting by my side. Are you called. sure you are not on the black list? Well, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> if, the right there, if there is a list. <laughs> but, but the president at the time promised yeah. that on the 6th of January, all the ambulances would have come in and they would be distributed. And he said, he mentioned the fact that he doesn't want to be, you know, called a discriminator and all of that. Now, somebody is putting up this information. You can't confirm. It did yes. say so. Yes. If it does happen that we won't have all 370, yes. would you say the president spoke and made that promise misled. without... Maybe he was misled. Without technical but, advice. Uh, uh, you know, uh, John, I think um, if, if we had... The time you met the president, if, let's say, you had um, 100 ambulances and now this ceremony, you are going to have, let's say, even 150. The bottom line is that what he wanted to avoid, as in should, uh, in terms of complaints mm. that we haven't got in ours, the quantum of magnitude is going to go down. Is that not it? But he I said, no, oh, by the same, I just, I know, I know. All the ambulances would I have admit. Come. I have the tape. Yeah. No, no, I've not contested you. My point is that if he was saying that I didn't want others to be left out, assuming that by 20th, you had 100, between now and then, you've had some coming in. Right. So my basic point is mm. that that uh, discrimination or uh, would, would discontent have toned down. would have toned down. Right. So basically, he's still working see, towards. See, I'm asking. I'm asking. Allow me. 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 Allow me.
I'm asking, <laughs> no, my question yeah. is, did the president speak without taking technical advice? No, no, but, 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 you see, yeah, so I said, Johnny, I think people's, people should be judged based on their efforts. He said, I want to... Do you judge efforts or results? Oh, but... Um, Especially when I think I oh, think you hold on, hold on. no, he oh. sent a, a wrong question. Hold That's on. why you are giving no, 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 hold on. Don't, Johnny, you have a president who's who said that I didn't want to give it out at the time you were talking to me because the numbers are not adequate. And the point I've made is that between that time and now, it's true, like you're saying, let's assume I don't even have the feelings right. that maybe we might not have the two, full two seventy five. Okay. But he's going to carry a ceremony with numbers that have been reviewed upwards. So my point is that he's gotten closer to that uh, claim or thing that he wanted to happen. Like you, 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 you are, you are, you are, you are, allow me, allow me. No, no, you have it. Edugi, allow okay. me. So, Doc, you are a board chairman of a tertiary hospital. Yeah. yeah. Now, per your workings, you have reports that are issued weekly, monthly, yeah. quarterly, biannually, yeah. annually. Yeah. So the question of discrimination should not come in. In the, fact, the in if we have 207 consti 75 constituencies and we are buying 307 ambulances, it means that we already know the areas that need full concentration. So the question of discrimination and the explanation, for me, doesn't wash. What do you say? Johnny, uh, absolutely. You know what? Citizens must not agree with the president all the time. Mm. So I respect your your position that you don't agree with this explanation. Does it make sense? I'm, I'm coming. Am I'm, I making sense? I'm coming. You know, <laughs> Am I making sense? You don't want an answer no. from him. I said citizens don't ha have to agree with the president all the time. Okay. So I'm a Democrat. I respect your opinion. But am I but, making but, sense? But because But am I making sense? Please, you are not patient. <laughs> I Dr. <don't laughs> Kobe. If my president has given an explanation, okay. like what I did here, I only try mm -hmm. to tell you the spirit behind and explain. Okay. If you still are not convinced, I can't contest and fight you for Am I making sense? Oh, I mean, you disagree with the president. Am I making sense? That is your right. Am I, I making sense? I think that uh, maybe in... You, answer, answer, you want me to say you are not making sense? Uh, so that you won't say I've insulted you. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, I won't say that. <laughs> no, no, you, I respect your position. <laughs> no, but you see, Johnny, let's, let's, for me, in our public engagement, candor mm. is key. Obviously, at the time the president made that statement, yeah. mm -hmm. which obviously had a serious backlash from the good people of this country. I mean, the people of this country felt that, Mr. President, what exactly are you talking about? That you'll be accused of discrimination? Seriously? Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. No, I just but, got confirmed, confirmation okay. mm -hmm. that all 307 will be inaugurated today. All but of them. not okay. distributed. Yes. Not distributed. So all I let's, let's, okay. let's can oh, okay, so can you can you can you find can you find out <laughs> if all no, of them will be moved no, out? No, okay. no. Yeah, please find the out. The truth of the matter is that no. If, no. if all of them have been installed, only one fifty are fit and proper. Why are you sourcing this from? This information from. But you see, honestly, I think sometimes we have to be fair to ourselves instead of condemnation. No, no, no. No, no. I believe, Johnny, to have the full complement in, if even it's the case. There is 150 that have been fitted to go. Mm. Johnny, I think these are tremendous achievements. Can I tell you something? No, 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 no. The letter no, no, that I mean, the letter that Dr. Zakaria wrote mm. yeah. before the set off mentioned some things, yeah. and we are told that in two weeks, which is today, they, they will be done. He himself so, knew so the so the question of praise instead of questing okay. and... No, no, it's legitimate. My mind is... But, but so, so the point is that we are measuring a promise that was made yeah. and a delay that was necessitated because we're told do, some things had do, to be Do you done. know what I feel sad about? No. I'm, I, I'm sad because you have a country that had a total fleet capacity of about 50. And you have a government that virtually, is it six times the fold? All have come. Now, our, our energy now mm. is on the fact that a timeline was given, and half of the. But fleet. that was why they were no, voted no. out of power. No, 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 no. And you were voted no. into power. Oh, I agree, John. I just want you to distribute your energies fairly. Okay. That spend some energy also mm. to let citizens know mm. that we've 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 done. Oh, I have said that so I many think, times before. I think I even, oh, John, yeah, on this John, network, said last time. <laughs> now it becomes a monologue. Mm. You know, even on this platform, it's not a monologue; it's a dialogue. Yes, okay. yes. I thought you were alone. No, you know. was not. <laughs> <laughs> but key is the fact that on this platform, mm. we've all agreed that, listen, 
as part of beefing up the emergency health system, you needed the ambulance. Okay. What, what, what we should all agree is that when our president <laughs> makes statement to the public citizens, we are permitted to be citizens and not spectators. We found the reason the president adduced for not distributing even the little earlier that today he's active doing. Active citizens, not hyperactive ones. <laughs> oh, okay. Because some are being hyperactive. Okay, like, what, what, like, time, what time like, is the distribution going to happen? Like <laughs> the inauguration and distribution, what time? During 11 a.m. 11 a.m. Yeah. Today, okay. today we've done a lot of health issues. Yeah. Just on a wrap-up, let your people know that they must respect the rule of law regardless of who is at the bottom. Okay. So that tomorrow, when things change, mm. when the same rule is applied to them, mm. we'll see the person I mean, Okay. That's so, sub so, somebody that's sub two threat to ask you that if they come, they will arrest No, no, no. no. <laughs> you are a gentleman. Is, is that what you're saying? You be, even yeah, though he's a medical doctor, he believes in the rule of law. Is that if the rules change? Somebody just sent me a message that our roads are bad and he fears for the lives of the ambulances. Oh, uh, yeah. let's close we can't fix it. We should close uh, it. Uh, one thing at a time. It will turn the thing some way. Okay, so we should close one it. Next time, time. Talk okay. <laughs> but there's that person. So the emergency system includes the roads. <laughs> yes, it does. Yeah, it the roads. So yeah, we'll talk. Yeah. you are good. But you fix the electric one. Yeah, you are a happy man. You are a happy man now. Anyway, thank you very much.